It's remarkable that every single social norm flies out the window in the pursuit of a genius, beautiful Herculean heir. Today, I'll be looking to conquer the Empire of Britannia with a dynasty of demigods forged through pure breeding. However, as you might have guessed from the title, things sort of get out of hand. Right lads, welcome to Crusader Kings 3, where the most important thing is family. And by that I mean a lot of incest to keep congenital traits in the family. Today we're going to be doing just that, I'm going to see how many congenital traits I can just stuff into this dynasty. Uh, to start with, we are playing as Alfred the Great, well, soon to be the Great. And we start with the blood tree, the, the dynasty legacies uh, unlocked, so that gives us lots of good things here. Lots and lots of good things. Gives us a little bit of an advantage. Uh, moreover, I have decided that Alfred's wife needed to die, so she unfortunately was killed uh, by... Uh, Chima Duyongi of Tumac, uh, who is down here. Don't know why she was out there, but that's what happened. So that leaves us free to marry. First things first, we need to set the intrigue and seducer focus tree. Alfred's gonna have a very different life here. I think there are two wings to my strategy here. The first one is obviously marrying right and, and getting the traits in. The second one is I'm gonna try and form the Empire of Britannia, because more people that I control, more people I can marry. This is how you have to think in this sort of a game. All right, first things first, can we find anyone that has the genius trait? Oh, there is. Right off the bat. How old is she? 23. Brilliant. I've got intelligence. She's got genius. This is going to go well. Uh, that's good. Is there anything we can do about murdering him? Because I'm honest and just. Well, not today. I'm not. Ooh, that puts me as a mental break already. Yeah, I'm not going to negotiate an alliance with my brother. Thank you very much. Could the club war for this lot? I mean, they can't do anything about it, can they? It cost me 100 prestige, but it sounds so bad. He's got zero troops after all. All right, sure. I see no downsides. I'm just using this time of war. Look, because the guy's handing out titles. The second they hand them out, I'm just taking them. Nice, she's pregnant already. Brilliant. Now, one of the reasons we want the uh, Empire titles so that our Empire doesn't immediately collapse. All right, she's intelligent. That's decent. Uh, one of the reasons we want the uh, uh, Empire of Britannia is so that our holdings don't immediately collapse the second we finish. I'd love to concentrate my lands a little bit. Oh, God. How can you be that bad? How are you... What? How are you a zero, zero, zero? You don't even have... What? It's not like you're inbred. I mean, that's the worst character I've ever seen. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I need to keep my my daughter alive. Where's the button? I need to call physician. Everyone's poor aptitude. All right, fine. Find me one. Uh-oh. Uh, whoops. Let's quickly end that scheme before anyone else finds out it was me. Thank you very much. I can, declare, I can declare war for Wessex, but I can't want to get a bit stronger before then. Or he could die in a hunting accident. <laughs> that's very, very convenient. Select my next romantic pursuit. You have a wife that's genius. No. Right. So, <laughs> let's uh, figure out what's going on here. All right. So, I'm the Duke of all of these areas. Okay, that's nice. So, let's just start handing out this stuff then. Do we want to go fight? Them? No, you're hard coded to stay in East Anglia. I'm glad you at least helped out there. Jesus. Yes, my son. He is a genius. All right, boys, we're on we're on the right track. A, an intelligent daughter and a genius uh, son. This is good. There's the 100%. Thank you very much. I've just saved England. All right, so far so good. Now we need to actually form England. But first, we need to increase our fertility. If I can, I can. If I can reform the Catholic faith to make it, you know, polyamorous and such, that'd be amazing. But that's just more of a wild aim of mine. Let's get back to the game. Be great if the Pope just came out and was just like, yeah, <laughs> polyamory's now, now a thing, lads. Go for it. Have at it. Kingdom titles. How far are we off of England? We need another, like, six counties. That's nothing. Okay. Well, I can take out this lot. So we can take out Cornwall. And then probably Stanglia as well. Yeah, she's no longer sickly. Good lad. Oh, she's a woman. Nice. Okay, I need to organize a hunt or something. Make sure I'm not dying of uh, stress. Oh, nice. All of Cornwall. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Get unshackled lust. He's charming. This is what we want to see. Good lad. No, that one's the lad. <laughs> Come on. He's misgendering my children constantly. All right, we've got to claim on the entirety of Devon. So let's go after him. This should be the easiest war of my life. I've gotten really lucky so far this campaign. All right, subtle desire. I mean, don't think it's that necessary. I mean, it removes the incestuous penalty from your seduce scheme. So if I needed to, I could seduce my daughter. There we go. We now have Devon. How close are we now to England? He could probably do it in his lifetime. He's only 26. We've got off to a flying start. Yeah, we only need four more, which is the entirety of East Anglia plus Mercia. Anything I can declare war on you for? Kingdom of Bedford. Well, I need a bit more prestige for that. To be honest, I don't think I need this anymore. Eh, we'll keep at it. I don't know. It might be an idea to switch over to, like, family. Okay, we're going to switch over to family focus. Why does it cost this much? Claimant titles. Claimant of a different dynasty. Let's declare war over here now. And absolutely destroy him. Lovely. One army sieging, one arm fighting. Oh, this is great. Look at this. This, this might be the best CK3 campaign I've ever had. Oh, another genius son. All right, this is good. This is going really well. I just need to get the genius sons to breed with their intelligent sister. Let's see. Should I increase, I don't know, the 
plenary assemblies innovation, so I can't increase my crown authority. So, <laughs> this is what I got for now. I didn't actually check how many troops he had. I assume fewer than me, but I could be wrong. Okay, we get the robust one to breed with the, uh, the, <laughs> the intelligent ones. Or the genius ones. This game is honestly horrific at times. Oh, nice. Captured him. Sweet. As I said, this has gone remarkably well. Yeah, I can't quite declare war for Jorvik yet. I've got to wait for all of them to die and break their alliances. And then I can do it. For now, let's just focus on killing all the Catholics. Yes! All of East Anglia. That's what we want to see. Good job, priest. When's the truce? I swear I could have- I can do something for- If I go down like the- Ah, it's flexible truce is here. So I need three perks. I mean, what do I need here? Nothing too much, so I'll probably go down this diplomat tree. Do I have a better spy master? Because this one's kind of bad. Whoops. I, I didn't even look that. I just killed two people by mistake. Are you pregnant? What, what does this mean? Non-believer secret. I can blackmail you. Jesus. Oh my god. What do you believe in then? Are you insular? Oh, you... I knew that when I married you. How is that a secret? I'm well, sledding with my son. It's kind of wholesome. Alfred's just bonding with his kids. This is really nice. Nothing horrible's happened yet. Well, the daughter. She's also a genius. Oh my god. This is amazing. I'm gonna try to find out the... Oh, there we go. There's when the true sense. <laughs> All right, let's send you to go and siege down Norfolk. Oh, we can catch him. Nice. <laughs> That's the easiest war I've ever seen. All right, I think we're one off now to forming the King of England. Oh, no, we've got everything. We just need 500 gold. Can I ask my head of faith for gold? I can. Excellent. Right, King of England. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, now I need to swap my duchies because I have a lot of them. Okay, I need to think of which ones to give away. Kent, I'll probably give away. I'm just going to give it away to my sons. That's never going to cause an issue, is it? Petty Kingdom of Kent. There you go. Grant two. Spy Master and Vassal. Well, I don't want it to be one of my existing vassals. Oh, whoops. I gave one of my sons two duchies. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just going to pretend I didn't do that. Ah, oh, nice. I've got flexible lamella armor. I mean, well, let's continue down. Uh, flexible truces. I mean, I don't really need flexible truces anymore. Unless I'm trying to go for an M. You know what? Screw it. Whilst getting these traits, you're going to become an emperor. <laughs> She's a tough soldier. Good job, lass. No prestige penalty for breaking truces, you say? Hmm. General opinion minus 50. That doesn't sound too bad. Let's, uh, let's invite some Clements. Ooh. Elective succession. Damn, that's kind of cool. Okay, well, let's ignore it for now. Spent most of my prestige on Clements. Right, so you are of age. If I can find you a spouse that's a genius, that is ideal. Matrilineal as well. Sweet. That's, that's good. I don't really need uh, help. I don't need allies. Oh my god. I'm getting real lucky with these claims, so I get a claim on everything. <laughs> yes, please. Now, if you could do that again, but for uh, the entirety of Mercia, that would be amazing. Another son. Another genius. Oh, my God. How many? So, I have how many sons? So, I've got six kids. All of them are geniuses apart from one intelligent and one, uh, like, hail, I think. Where are you? Maybe she died. Now, nah, here she is. She's robust. Good job. An adequate bargainer. Oh, you're my player heir as well. That's really disappointing. Oh, well, well you're getting married to your sister. <laughs> okay. Well, you've got the genius trait. Your mother has the genius trait, and I've got the quick trait, which means that it's pretty locked in. So we probably need something a bit different now. We don't need the genius trait. We need something uh, a little bit spicier. I mean, something like... Is there anyone Herculean? There is one. All right, get her in here. Is there anyone I can ransom for some money? I'm kind of quite heavily in debt. Please don't capture anyone. Oh, I think we just about got there. Okay, that's good. We need to finish this war like yesterday. We are in heavy amounts of debt, and it's not going any easier. There we go. That's a nice little victory there. Right. So I've got one duchy there. I need to hand to someone. I mean, you're Herculean. I'll probably marry you off to one of my daughters at some point. Oh, God, my daughter's got typhus. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I have no money, but you can't give me a claim on all of Mercia and not expect me to take it. Please be one of the... Please, one of these give me money. Please tell me I can ransom someone. Yes, give me money. I can ask my head of faith for more gold. Hope. It's like my sugar daddy. Hey, I need this cash. Nice. And suddenly we're no longer in debt. Let's do this. I'm going to try to teach my son to uh, own up to a misdeed and make it right. I murdered a monster. Nice. It didn't work. All right. Give away possessions. You idiot. <laughs> right. Where were we? So we're declaring war for the entirety of Mercia. This is kind of a bad. Took a long way around. Oh, my wife's pregnant again. This is good. After we get the Empire of Britannia, uh, things are going to get really, really incestuous. <laughs> I, I'm going to warn you from now. I apologize in advance. Now the daughter, she's also a genius. Yeah, we've got genius locked down. Should be done after I win this siege. And that's the entirety of Mercia. That's ridiculous. <laughs> right, more Dutch titles. Let's grant this to someone. This guy. This guy really came around. He hated me, uh, considering I, I stole his land. But then he likes me now, so it works. Ooh, I could holy war for Dutchy. How many of your kind are there? I don't think there's that many. There really doesn't seem to be that many. Okay, well, let's just take out Jorvik. The issue is there's not going to be enough land and stuff for all of my my sons to, to, to get. Idiot. <laughs> my genius daughter's not very smart, apparently. She's sleeping with the Duke of Cornwall. He doesn't have any good traits. And he's like, he's 61 and he's infirm. Come on, girl. 
Really? Oh, let me find you a husband. Herculean. This guy's Herculean. There we go. Matrilineal. Can't catch any of these guys. Oh my god, why are you so fast? There we go. There we go. Should be a nice victory. And there's another victory. Oh, nice. I've, I've taken the Lancastrian war banner. That's always good to see. Dangerous faction. Lower county control. Yeah, I, I don't care. I think I can fight off some peasants. Uh, I really hope that's not foreshadowing. All right, one of my other sons is of age. You're a flagellant, flamboyant trickster. I can't marry you off to any of your sisters, unfortunately. But what I can do is marry off to a bunch of Herculean women, and then we can get their children to marry. So they've got genius in Herculean. Hopefully. I don't care about forming lights with Sardinia. I just wanted your daughter. My daughter-in-law is given to a birth to a son. Yes, he's genius in Herculean! And that's my player. Go on, son. Look at that. Genius and Herculean. What a legend. This is going so much better than I thought it would. All right, so you are robust. Let's find someone for you that's genius. My grandson. There you go. <laughs> they might get robust Herculean or genius. See, this is what we want to see. I mean, she's 16 and he's zero, but that's fine. Wait, maybe not. Because that will make her 32 when he's... <sighs> No, you're too old. <laughs> Sweet. We have taken uh, Jorvik. I need more gold. <laughs> Can I ask my sugar daddy, also known as the Pope, for more gold, please? Don't take... Will, the, please don't take Winchester, please. Okay, we're good. Someone's trying to murder my queen. What? But she served me so faithfully. Ooh, I could do another holy war. Let's do that in a second. I can actually I can actually ask my head of faith for gold. Thank you. This is we put to great use. Pray St. Matthew, here comes the tax refund. Hell yeah. Right, we're going to use up... This and Deira is going to be granted to this guy. Wait, can I give it to any of my sons? I'll give it to this son, but I think he already has like... Wait, hang on. Do you have anything? No, you don't. Okay, I'll give it to you. Grant title. Deira, 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 Deira. There you go. Enjoy. All right, time to go off to Lancaster. To recap, we have uh, ourselves, which is doing pretty well. We're intelligent. But most importantly, our son is a uh, genius and his, grand and his son is genius in Herculean. So that's pretty good. Make sure I'm educating him. We need to protect this boy at all costs. Meanwhile, the rest of our family, in fact, if I check the family tree, House of Wessex, living members, all of this lot, they are geniuses and, and well, they're all geniuses and some are robust and Herculean. So <laughs> we're doing pretty well. We're going to Holy War for the Duchy. We've got the Lancaster now. Nice. Okay. That works. I'll finance the cause. I don't really want to go to Jerusalem. I'm sort of fighting my own crusade over here against the Norse. Okay, I need to use up this again. <laughs> my daughter's trying to kill him. What? My daughter's trying to kill her mother. Why? <laughs> hang on. Hang on. There. There's a what now? Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, this is this is horrible. <laughs> is there anyone we could ally that could help us out here? Like you, Charles the Bald. This is the issue with uh, making alliances for, for congenital traits and not for power. Uh, I'm kind of now screwed. I'm just going to pay them off. <laughs> I don't even know what happens on succession. I'll be honest. Three titles lost. I lose the King of Hawaii's Elder of... Yeah, that's kind of okay. I just need a lot of gold. I know I'm in debt. I can negotiate an alliance with who? Mercia. I don't think that helps me at all. It's club-footed, one-eyed, and wounded. <laughs> no. I'm very surface level me. Lose more money. I am dying. <laughs> right, I'm gonna hold court and hopefully I can sell one of my titles. What the hell is this? You're a genius. You're robust. And your son is neither. Well, that's what he's called. Yes, gold. Thank you. I can't afford it. Nice. Thank you, Stuart. <laughs> I need additional taxes. Okay, we're quite far off of the Empire of Britannia. Like, like, really, really far off. Probably not gonna do it in this man's lifetime. We've slowed down quite a bit. Yes, money. Thank you. All right, we're close to... Oh, I can ransom Grima. That's good. 10. We're having a flash sale for all prisoners. Why will I get one free? No, why? Why would I get a trade? You're in England. Why would I do that? It's better not be. Okay, it's my vassal. Good. I thought it was my, one of my other daughters. All right, cool. We're now in the positive. Uh, we'll declare war for the petty kingdom of Thorbria. Wait, it's the same thing as the county, isn't it? It's communication war. I want to take his land. All right, we've got another son. He's a genius, which means we need to marry you off to someone who is Herculean. There's no one that's Herculean. All right, well, let's try beautiful. There was someone who was five years old. This works. No one take any of this out of context. <laughs> Just gonna quickly declare war on you. Uh, I have a claim on one province. What happens if I depose you? Oh, I can get a claim on the Principality of Gwynedd. I do not have six, six... How much do I need? 630. Piety. All right, well, let's depose him first. <laughs> get the piety. And then take out his son. This is a very roundabout way of doing this, I know, but still. What the hell are you? Yaldum and Northman. Are you allied to him or are you just raiders? Because if you're raiders, hey, buddies, that's fine. You just carry on your way. Oh, you're conquering them. Okay, that's gonna be awkward, isn't it? Because I'm deposing them right now. I suppose it's going to end up the same way anyway. All right, I'm going to have to kill these guys because otherwise they're going to take hold of the kingdom. All right, gather up the troops. We're fighting the Northmen. All right, is everyone going to raid me now? Is that is that a thing? Who are you? My nephew and vassal. Come on, man. All right, where are you? Up there. That's enough. That's enough space for me to be able to do a truce with you. All right, I've just saved the wealth from themselves. And now I need to save them from their ruler so then I can take over. Well, you're 60 now. You're not bearing any more children. You have a lover's, you have lover's box. No, get out of here. <laughs> All right, my daughter's given birth to a 
daughter. That's good. Another one with zero traits. Are you even my daughter? Pretty sure the other one's called useless. Why? This one's even more useless. So it's gonna be useless too. Electric boogaloo. All right, there we go. We deposed him, which is split the succession. This is not what I wanted to do. Wait, maybe it is. If I if I can force uh, vassalize him. All right, here we go. My daughter. Quick and robust. Yeah, I, like a little bit disappointing. I mean, you're the robust one, but he's, he's kind of like kind of useless. He'll be like. He's got okay DNA. Right, am I able to vassalize you? Too many counties. So what was the point in any of this? I just split up the realm. Oh no! Oh no. I think I'm gonna go into uh, Ireland. It's a little bit gonna be a little bit tricky, but I think going into Ireland's the next sort of big, big play. I'll make sure not to split up my men too much. Yeah, all right. I'll just take another another county for no reason. Am I being attacked anywhere, or is he just chilling? Mildred, you gotta stop plotting against people. First your mother, and now this. I don't care if she has another. She's produced like great kids. Oh, here we go. Here's another another genius. Let's find someone who is uh, Herculean. There you go. This guy, matrilineal. All right, well, there goes my wife. She provided many a good child for me, but uh, she also had the lover's box because she was cheating on me, apparently, the entire time, which is also fine. <laughs> what did you call my daughter? Oh, she's just quick, and she's a bastard. Ah, I'm just going to call it a quick bastard so I can keep track. Oh, well, nice. We won. Sweet. <laughs> Didn't even realize. All right. Now we have the Duchy of Meath, right? Well, we got to create it, so... <laughs> oh, Pope! Thank you very much. Much obliged. Thank you. <laughs> Give me all of your money. Looks like some Norse. I'm trying to find people who can just vassalize. Like you. You wouldn't do it. Not your rightful liege. Well, we'll bloody see about that, won't we, mate? My daughter. Okay. All right. Brilliant. I think she's been working on that piece of art for like 10 years. So to have not produced anything in those last like 10, 20 years. I have almost conquered Britannia in that time. All right. I don't want to give it to my granddaughter because I need to find him a spouse, actually. So my granddaughter is Herculean. I mean, uh, yeah, there's, there's incest, but they're definitely going to get Herculean and they might get genius. So that sounds pretty good. I'm not married, but there's no one I can marry, so... It's gonna grant you the petty kingdom of Meath. Now, can I start declaring some religious wars? I can declare on you, bro. Nice. Okay. Who have you got as an ally? The Sudradia. Ah, oh, I don't have to fight them again. Just think about it, like the more land you conquer, the more access you have to better children and better traits. Why are my grandchildren not having any kids? Oh, you are. Okay, Herculean. Amazonian. Okay. All right, let's have a look at the dynasty. Let's have a little, have a little check. All right. So intelligent, genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need the young ones. So sort by age. Amazonian, quick. Genius, hail. That's pretty good. Why am I not marrying off thing to her? There you go. Robust. Let's marry you two off. Like I said, this is where the incest starts, uh, starts coming in. Well, screw it. Let's just marry them all off to each other. There you are. Genius and hail. I don't think any of these guys are my kids, so we have to wait until we have more grandkids. Is it worth getting alliance with West Frankia? Well, yeah, because the Northmen, when they come back. So all across into Ireland. Damn, okay, Jesus Christ. Right, here we go. A holy war for the duchy. Raise all armies. Let's gather everyone together. That's 3,000 troops. That's 6,000, it looks like. Okay, we might be outnumbered. We're also in debt. Hey, my rival's dead. She's an eight-year-old girl. Really? She was a stupid pneumo- <laughs> Why is that my rival? Jesus Christ. Okay, I think we're dead here. All right, I'm gonna surrender. This didn't work. Now we're heavily in debt. I can ask my head of faith for gold again. Cheers, Pope. They've given me thousands at this point. My wife's bearing my child. That's not good. Don't have enough land to give all these kids. My son, he's only quick. I don't want this guy. Again. <laughs> all right, we need help. No, don't raise him up an island. Oh God, don't raise him up an island. Bloody Northman. Coming over here, stealing my land. Mate, they're coming. Could you land your troops a little quicker? All right, let's go in, lads. Oh, twins. One is a genius and hail. The other one is a genius and Herculean. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, let's start marrying these guys off to the uh, to our other children. Oh, daughter. No, daughter. Granddaughter. Uh, uh, yeah. You. And where's your brother? Not this one. Oh, God, you're kind of a disappointment. <laughs> you quick bastard. All right. Uh, intelligence better than nothing. Where are the French? All right, here we go. And... The Northmen aren't dead. Where are they? They're retreating. <laughs> I thought we just, if we won one battle, we win. I didn't know we had to like destroy them. My knight, does he have anything to do with me? Oh, he's not impregnating my daughter. Eh, doesn't matter. Come on, where are these Northmen going? Discovered a banners. What's a banners? <laughs> All right, excellent. We've defeated the Northmen. How old are you now? 63, god damn, boy. <laughs> Staying alive. Why, well, I'm already a king or an emperor. Just, just give me the claim. What on this guy? Can you give me a claim on this guy? Oh, I don't need it. <laughs> I've just got one. Sweet. My daughter. Nope. Not accusing my daughter. Doesn't matter. My children can run around doing whatever they want. More gold from the Pope, man. Thank you very much. I will use this wealth wisely to take out Ireland. Like, did we win that crusade? No. No, we didn't. Meanwhile, the rest of the world is kind of... Jesus Christ. Everywhere that could collapse has collapsed. The Byzantines seem to be an issue. The Abbasids look very poxy. 
Uh, Iberia's a mess. <laughs> just England's unified. Level of dedication to your faith. I'm just basically simping. Well, the Pope's just simping for me. It's great. There we go. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, you are useless, but you are of my dynasty. So I'll just chuck you in charge of this uh, of this kingdom. I had the caps lock it as well, didn't I? It's really insulting. <laughs> oh, I can hold you off for kingdoms now. I don't think that helps me at all. Unless you're a king. Wait, do you ha are you the king of Ireland? Ooh, king of Alba. All right, this could be... Ooh, this could be big. If I declare war for Alba, it's another kingdom. Well, I know it's another kingdom. I don't really want another kingdom title because I can't form Britannia. How close am I? Yeah, I'm still way off. I kind of just want to still go for like petty kingdoms and duchies. Are you still allied to the Sir You are, but I could call in my boys. Can I declare war on the Alba for any reason? No. All right, well, let's let's clean up Durham. Should have done this a while ago. I'll do. Agatha, you are intelligent. Okay, we're starting to dilute the bloodlines a little bit here, lads. Let's keep this uh, keep this going. I can, I can request your communication. Dude, the Pope loves me, man. Can I have a claim? Oh, go on, Pope. We love to see it. Wait, well, I don't have 700. I need I need a little bit more piety. Right, pilgrimage. We're going to Jerusalem. Damn, okay. I spent all of the kingdom's money on this. Excellent. Let's give me a thousand piety. Now I just need the money. I wonder where I'm going to get that from. No, the Pope. <laughs> He's not letting me have more money. All right, let's go to Gwynedd. Uh, I can get a claim on you. Thank you very much, Mr. Pope. There you go. Excellent. Principality of Gwynedd. Awesome. That's a couple of provinces. It probably wasn't worth the amount that I spent on it, but <laughs> it's fine. It's whatever. I refuse to admit my mistakes. It's not a character flaw. It's a... It's... I'm just... Uh, no, I can't spin that into positive in any way, shape, or form. All right, let's defeat this army first. Ah, oh, God. Let's just take a bunch of attrition, apparently. Oh, wow. That was really quick. Is this a really good one? Yeah, he's... God, he's a legend. Look at him. Um, But yeah, I'll grant it to my grandson. Why not? Get your first taste of ruling. Go and rule the Welsh. Each living child gives you plus one. I think I just became a god. <laughs> plus one skill point for each living child. Jesus Christ. More gold. Thank you, Mr. Pope, man. All right, you're still allied to, like, a ridiculous amount of troops, right? Uh, you aren't? So I'll go to the Surdirjar. Take a duchy. These are all horrible things to take. I want one unified thing. Right, let's just do this, then. Okay, that was a little bit closer than I thought it would be. All right, well... Kind of a painful war for just one province, but we'll, we'll take it. That's Bourbon Burr. Oh, a random... It's okay. Look, have... Just have this, all right? Just shut up. Have this. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. I think I just became a lot less powerful. Okay. All right. Let's take stock. I'm a gardener. I'm a novice hunter, diplomat, and a genius. My son and player heir is the absolute pinnacle of, of human evolution. Think otherwise I'm okay. Uh, a claimant, my brother. Of course. You bastard. Why is there a King of Wales? Why is he independent? There's a lot going on. So the King of Wales. Okay, I need to fight him, right? Surely. There's no way, there's no way I can let that go. I don't I wasn't aware that we had the King of Wales. Dude, this guy's already got all the traits we need. Nice. Okay, family focus. When did we get Brittany? Okay, you know what? Let's focus on Wales. We're taking out Wales. Alfred's sons are gonna fight amongst themselves. Okay, this a peasant uprising. Go send some men to do with that. Oh, he died. <laughs> Like I said, I think I'm just getting really lucky in this game. My sociable son and heir. Why was he imprisoned by the king of Asturias? Well, he's home now anyway. My god. Wait, he's a vassal of my brother. All right, that's... I'm not even going to try and dig out the family politics here. There's, there's a lot going on. The Northman Conquest. I don't have any allies, I don't think. I really need the king of France here. Uh, arranged marriage. My daughter, the prince of... Whatever, I don't care. It's not exactly congenital here, but it's not exactly focused on congenital traits, but I, I do need the, the help to fight off the Norsemen. How many men do you have? Enough. Thank you. Excellent. We finished off the false king. He's done. Now we have to fight the Norsemen. I was waiting for the French to arrive. I never thought I'd say that. Come on, Frenchies. Off we pop. Excellent. One battle. Took my father like six. Okay. And then what? Cumberland's attacking me. <laughs> oh, that's kind of embarrassing. Nominate successor for the King of Wales. Okay, player and son. There you go. I wasn't aware there was a nomination thing going. Maybe there was an entire nomination thing and I just completely missed it. My niece and my nephew are going to marry. Yep, of course they are. Right. After that debacle, we can uh, sit easy a little bit. Well, this guy's 52, so it's... It's all going to break pretty soon anyway. I still can't believe my son is a vassal of this dude. But my son's a, a count. Okay, everything else I think is sorted. No factions. Oh, Godwin. Can I imprison him for any reason? To be fair, he himself doesn't actually want to join the faction. How are your kids? Oh. Oh. God, our traits went downhill, didn't they? Hey, we've got a beautiful one. Brilliant. Good job, Margaret. Okay. So, taking stock of the situation, let's have a look at our living... Wow, we've got a lot of siblings. Our living members. 27 living members. Okay, everyone should be married or betrothed. All right. Well, she's a leper, so let's not betroth her to anyone. <laughs> this stupid alliance is persisting. That's the issue. I can't really advance north because they're all allied to each other. My cousin is claiming to be... Why? <laughs> what are you? I'm so, I'm so confused as to what's going on. I'm leasing out barony to the Templars. Okay. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> I'm about to die immediately. All right, what happens on succession? Can someone tell me, please? Wales goes to my brother. I reckon we just start holy warring. I think that's probably the best thing here. Why not? I get enough money for mercenaries. I can call in the king of France. Why can't I call you in anymore? Quick bastard. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get the quick bastard in. Wait, really? I can't get an alliance? This is bad. <laughs> this whole thing was because I wanted an alliance. This whole war was predicated on the idea that I might be able to get an alliance uh, with France. Uh, okay, that sucks. Who are we fighting? 3,000 troops. Well, he's got allies, though. 9,000 troops. Where did my alliance go? Why would this not bring a... Uh, I don't understand why this wouldn't bring a, an alliance. What happened to your king? Oh, your sibling. Oh, my God. Great. So we have about 6,000 troops. We can't fight that many. But I don't want to lose again. Uh, I have gold for mercenaries. Specifically, I can get like another 1,000, maybe. Okay. I just want unmarried. They can give me alliance power. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, this is awkward, isn't it? Thank you. I need you to come help me with this. Is there anyone else I could ally? Let's get, like, a son involved. They need more living members. All right, you're betrothed. You're not. You are the Doge of Venice. <laughs> These are really bad allies. All right, you're close by. Whatever. Let's ally you. I'm doing a lot for this. In fact, I'm going to see if I can sneak in and take out his capital. Separate piece of me, you know? Hey, buddy. I have your capital. I think you should leave. There's no separate pieces in this game. All right, lads. Let's all march in, then. All or nothing. Do I not have a better commander? There you go. Let's get everyone else in here. All right, sure. Fight those guys first. And then we march in, boys. Yeah, we're just going to have to surrender this one. Brilliant. Quick shout out to the King of France for abandoning me. I can't break the stranglehold to my north. There's so many marriages going on that have allies. You are the worst. Eh, might as well clean this up in the meantime. <laughs> How do you have 3,000 troops? Where did they come from? I'm actually going to lose. I can't believe that. How have you gotten 2,000 troops? from Holy, I'm going to lose to Shropshire. Yep, she's defeated me. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pay 400. Oh my god, this has gone downhill fast. I thought it was like a little county. No, they just destroyed me. And now this guy's gonna get in control. How has life deteriorated so much? Oh, here we go. What for the Who are you? Here we go. Stupid. England's now gone into absolute anarchy. I'm gonna have to march around stomping on him. Oh, come on. Just catch him, please. We almost lost that. And we have double their troops. Why are the Scots here? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Everything's gone to hell! Oh my god, I don't even have any allies! Oh my god, this is- I, I'm, I'm in shock at how badly things have turned. I lost one big war, then I lost to Shropshire, and now England's in turmoil. There's only one thing I can do now that I can think of. I'm gonna imprison this guy. He's gonna say no, uh, and then I'm gonna surrender and get deposed. Because now I've got this strong, strong guy in charge. <laughs> Which is the aim of the entire video. Right, lads, I think that's what we'll call it for today. Um, I'm going to have to call that one an abject failure because of the, the horrific nature of uh, the ending there. Well, we did get a, a Herculean genius in charge uh, who is married to an Amazonian uh, a member of our dynasty. So there's going to be a lot of uh, incest and, and such going on. I think um, in future, if, uh, if people are interested, I'd definitely have another uh, crack at this. Um, I've got a couple of different ideas. I'd probably start with a custom religion uh, and just basically do a little bit of inbreeding right at the start. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, look, not all of them are going to be successes. I, I am human. I fail. <laughs> Although I feel like I'm going to get roasted in the comments of this one. Either way, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Shout out to our Patreons. J Erickson321 Shadow Singer Jado52 Cargan, Flyerton, Henrique, Redguard76, Xiaomi, and Charlie Demorel. Your support means a lot, guys.